So today I'm talking about a P068A code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P068A code? Well, it's an ECM, PCM, Power Relay De-Energized Performance Too Early. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles are going to have an ECM or PCM, which is basically a computer that controls all the engine functions. And so it's controlling things like the fuel injection, the spark, different things like this. And for some reason, this computer is having an error. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And one thing to note about these type of codes is that sometimes the problem could be fairly simple to fix, but sometimes it can become difficult since you could be dealing with wiring and computer control modules and things like this. And so keep that in mind is that sometimes this code can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot. And so what would be some possible causes of a P068A code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad battery. All the computer modules inside the vehicle is going to need a good, stable power supply or else it's going to cause issues. So the first thing to go do is go check out that battery and be sure that it's good. Also be sure to check out your battery terminal connections, that there's no corrosions on them, that they're making good contact, all these type of things, because bad battery connections can cause issues. So be sure to check that out. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the charging system. And this would be things like a bad alternator or a bad voltage regulator or something along these lines. A quick way you could check to see if the charging system is working correctly is that you use a multimeter and you check what the voltage is at the battery and then you start up the vehicle and you see what the voltage output is. Most vehicles are going to work in between like 13 and a half and 14 and a half volts. You can look up what yours is rated to be running at to know for sure what it's supposed to be. But usually they're operating between 13 and a half and 14 and a half volts. And if this is running lower than this or if it's running higher than this, then you know there's some kind of issue with the charging system. And so you can go and look at that. One thing to note about this test is that some new vehicles have what's called a smart alternator. So you might not be able to test the alternator completely this way without looking up the exact specifications of how it's supposed to be working. But for most vehicles, you'll be able to test it this way and get an idea if the charging system is working correctly. And the next thing that could cause is like a wiring issue, like there's an open or a short, there's a bad connection somewhere, a blowing fuse, or a bad power relay. The PCM or ECM quite commonly has what's called a power relay. The location of it's going to be different on every vehicle, so you have to do a little research on your particular vehicle to know where it's located. But be sure to go and check that out and test that. It can also be a good idea to check out any fuses or relays that are labeled ECM or PCM or anything along these lines because a blown fuse or a bad relay is going to cause issues. Another thing that happens with these computer modules sometimes is that they have a bad ground because all these computer modules, they need a good ground in order to work properly. And if for some reason this ground is not good anymore, then it could cause strange things to happen and it just throws these computers off. If you have a jumper wire, quite commonly you could just attach the jumper wire to the case of the ECM or PCM and then you attach the other end to a good ground like the frame or something and you just see if the code clears because these computer modules will throw out strange errors if they don't have a good ground. And the last thing on the list is going to be that that PCM or ECM has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing to see if that PCM or ECM has gone bad. One thing that happens with these sometimes, not all the time, these can go bad and never get no burn spots on them, but sometimes the components on the board actually burn. And so if you could just go around that PCM or ECM and just smell around it and see if you smell the burnt smell, then you'll know for sure that it's failed. You can also open it up and examine the components and check to see if you see any burnt spots. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad PCM or ECM. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P068A code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.